How goes it, viewers? Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing a walkthrough kind of explanation of the collecting of horseshoes. There's a third thing, item, whatever you want to call it, goal, mission, that will give weapons uh, or make weapons available at CJ's save location or main save location. In this case, by the Four Dragons Casino in Las Venturas. And these weapons are worth getting the horseshoes for. Like the photo op that I had done before, there's like 50 horseshoes. And in order to collect them, you actually need the jetpack, which I will get once I get to um, the uh, airport at Verdant Meadows. And once you use the jetpack, you can get these 50 horseshoes in a decent amount of time. And the reason you need the jetpack is these horseshoes are sometimes on things like a rooftop that CJ wouldn't be able to access unless he had the ability to use the jetpack. So let's get started with collecting those horseshoes. In order to find the horseshoe locations, I would advise going online and downloading a map or something or watching someone else's YouTube video showing where all the horseshoe locations are. I'm not going to show them because it's really lab labor laborious and time consuming. What I'm going to do is go through a few locations and then end the video. The one first horseshoe location is right below the sign, Welcome to Fabulous Las Venturas. And you can get hit. The jetpack is actually considered a vehicle in a way, but once you get this first horseshoe, which is right here, there are several that are nearby. And the reason I am doing these is if you do the horseshoes in a certain order, you can get them more rapidly. And if you have the Brady or Bradley Gamer Guide, which I originally used, they are not real specific about where the locations are. There are actually maps that will specifically show where the horseshoes are located. Now, I just got the second horseshoe at this house. And once I get through this tree, over by the golf course that I'm heading toward is the next horseshoe. And it's on the roof of the main building, which would be somewhat difficult for CJ to climb. And thus, having the jetpack makes collecting the horseshoes easier. Now, the, the one most difficult horseshoe is actually the one on top of the Emerald Isles Casino, which you have to fly up and around. The casino, you're almost better off doing it with a helicopter than actually using the jetpack. But once you have the jetpack on, you might as well. There you go. See, there's the horseshoe. Now, the next one, as I get CJ up in the air here, is in this little subdivision near the um, golf course. And it's actually. I'm looking around for a pool, and to be honest with you, the pool is probably in the apartment complex 
but I'm going to scout around a little bit using CJ and try and look around. Now, I don't see any pond here or pool. Like I said, if you use the Bradley Gamer Guide that was put out when this game came out, it really isn't that specific. It gives a general area and a description, and you got to fly around. Now, it's actually in, right over here in this pool, and a horseshoe is in like a pool or something. You might be better off just dropping the backpack temporarily and then dunking CJ in the pool to collect it because you're going to buy, you know, kind of fly around a little bit to try and get it. Now, the next one is not that far off, it's in the tennis courts up front here and it's at the back of the tennis courts and this is real easy to get and then after that the next horseshoe you see there's a shovel there which would make a pretty good weapon but you can get a cantana which is a lot better or katana and then the horseshoe is right here it's easier just to walk cj through grab it and now I'm going to fast forward to the next horseshoe location, which is actually fairly far off. Okay, as you approach what looks like a somewhat military type complex, um, you can drop CJ to the ground, and then the horseshoe is located in this alleyway behind the building. It's sort of between both buildings, and you don't have to really fly to get there. You can kind of walk. And it's over here. And you can, yep, over this wall, and you can kind of see the horseshoe once I land. And that you start building up and collecting these horseshoes, and I'm going to fly through this complex, which is actually kind of neat. You have to steal that helicopter at some point, but that is another mission that I will do a video on. And the next horseshoe is around this mall here somewhere, and probably landing in the wrong place. But you wind up in this, again, it's a mall. And there's all kinds of, like, clothing stores and pizza and, you know, just, like, mall-type stuff. And it's right here behind the mall. And I'm going to grab that. And it, it's just, it takes some patience. And, again, you're better off either A, viewing another YouTube video showing the locations or downloading and printing a map where the locations are more specific. And one of the tricky parts is one of the locations is actually in a train tunnel. Now, there is a horseshoe in the K-Rock building, but I'm not going to go for that. I'm going to head over to this area. And you can see the Emerald Isle in the foreground. And I'm going to head over here. And there are several horseshoes in this area. Now, the jetpack is not a very fast vehicle. So, again, it's going to take a little time. And. It can be a little frustrating, but once you get all 50 horseshoes, some really powerful weapons appear in front of the Four Dragons Casino for CJ to collect. And when I do the first Las Venturas um, video for Woozy's missions in Las Venturas, then I will show you the weapons. Other than that, I mean, again, you just got to keep flying around and then kind of figure it out. I'm Brad.
proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing this kind of introductory to collecting horseshoes video. If you like the video, smash the like button. If you don't like the video, well, hey, smash the like, dislike button, I guess. If you do like this type of video and you like what my channel has been producing, please subscribe. It costs you nothing. And I would really appreciate it because I'm working on trying to grow subscribers and maybe monetize this video. As always, thanks for stopping by.